Yeah, hello. Uh, my name is Sukami. I work for the Open SSF in Brussels as uh, EU policy advisor, and my major subject is the CRA. And uh, when I started roughly a year ago, uh, after getting that mail asking me if I could imagine to work for, for an open source foundation, uh, with that task, I was like, oh, I understand EU policy as like a co-legislative process because as a like, you know, security professional in the past and someone who did uh, civil rights policy, I had a good understanding of what it means to get, you know, like to engage in the EU uh, in terms of, I don't know, like data protection from the, from, from the beginning of the proposal to the actual publication in the journal of the EU. But the CRA is different. It is not like... I don't know. I did not really have a good model of how to approach it, how to like, you know, how to think about it, and so on. And my experience uh, doing doing like I don't know audits and stuff is always was always when I look at an application to to get an idea about how would I do it and then match it to what I see, and so I have a model to work with. Uh, as wrong as my uh, idea of it might even be, but that is like. Yeah, my worry was how could I actually get such a model for myself? And the first thing that happened to me, so the, the slides are basically just two uh, moments in the last year where I took a lot of learnings. This is the first one. That is a list of um, European regulation or um, directories, uh, 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 directives. And... The ones that are the important ones are the first three, that is the European Software Regulation, the Cyber Resilience Act, the, um, the Product Liability Directive, and the AI Act. They are product rules. And this is, that, the, the, this is what the NLF stands for, uh, the new legislative framework. So that means if you, when you have product, rules. You, you don't just have the rules itself, you also have a lot of market rules attached to them. So for example, using that, you automatically have market surveillance. Um, so the other point was, what do I do as a policy advisor with open source in Brussels? And besides, when you look at uh, the, the keywords for open source in the, different, in the different legislations that you have, you see Clearly, the software regulation, like all three of them, they, they uh, mention open source. Then there's also NIS, too, like in all the NIST directive, uh, which has also, you know, like mentions open source, wants to encourage users or like, you know, uh, uh, actors to use open source. And then there's also the Cyber Security Act, which is basically the sanitization, uh, the Managed Security Services uh, Regulation, and the Interoperable Europe Act, which is the cooperative measure that is there. So that is kind of, for me, that was important to understand what the big picture of that regulation is. In order to get to the other understanding, that is, who exists in the COA as an actor? That is not entirely correct. There are some things missing. Also, if you know that there is like the single reporting platform is not there, the CBD process is not properly modeled, whatever. But the idea was to get an idea who is, who is kind of engaged in that regulation and who do I need to talk to? And interesting enough, the CRA does not Say, for example, me as a steward, you know, as a possible steward, should talk to ENISA or should talk to the national search. Um, the, the CRA designates that discussion to the market surveillance. Um, but in, but like with all things where, like, you know, a regulator or like the implementation is basically you have, you know, the law and it gets the, like, you know, handed over to the private, uh, to private actors in the next three years. So how it is designated and what is really going to happen and how it's going to happen might not exactly the same. And this is my, my learning just by looking at these type of things. And the reason why I st stopped worrying is, that on one hand, 
Um, it is a sane regulation. In my point of view, it has a high chance to be very successful, um, to really get, you know, our technology a lot more secure in the next couple of years. And I realized everybody that I talked to, they are all in. It's like, yeah, we want to get that done. And for me, that was really like, uh, a little, or it's like a little motivational speak here for, um, you know, we, we need to work together to make that work. And I, from what I had at the discussion so far, I, I'm, I'm very hopeful. So, um, the last word, like when you have a, like, question or when you engage in that, in, in that process, or if you want to discuss whatever problem is there, you can come to me. Uh, I'm, I'm happy to discuss it. And I've, uh, also, set up a couple of things in the next couple of weeks and months to make a continuous work on, on, on the question that actually arise from uh, what's going on in that, in that funny picture. Okay, thank you very much.